guys welcome back to life updates with t thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for joining me if you are new to this channel welcome welcome and welcome we are the winning family and if you'd like to become a member or a part of this family just make sure you hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you're notified whenever we get to post new videos so guys i'm back with another update i've been so busy that i didn't even really have time to just sit down and like do a proper video that's why with my previous videos all of them are like um voiceovers so right now i just told myself that right now that i have some free time why don't i just you know sit down and talk to you guys more especially with the topic that i'm about to bring up right now you might be really 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 interested so um big brother niger um has been <laughs> I don't know guys it's been like so confusing i've never been so confused in my life you know the ships and everything that's just going on is just really too much i think at this point they should just slow it down because is it by force is it necessary to get to the house and immediately you just want to be with someone and you want to be in a ship or you want to be cuddling and everything can they just relax i mean it's just like how many days now it's like four days yeah four days now since the show started but like already there's just a lot that had happened and obviously it has something to do with relationships so it's just really a lot but that's not what i wanted to start with actually guys bella is currently trending in south africa and definitely not um for for for, for the right reasons or for great reasons so apparently um Bella was having a conversation with Elo Swag, you know, where um, she mentioned something that really offended a lot of South Africans. Um, I'm not really sure about these allegations because at the time I was not really, you know, uh, watching when they had that conversation. But because I'm someone who's always on Twitter and basically on social media trying to know what is it exactly that's happening in the house even when i'm not inside the house even when i'm not home i'm out i'm just always you know going around social media trying to gather uh, stuff that's that that are really being said and that are being that are happening in the house so somehow i came across this gist that apparently bella said um some offensive stuff about south africans she said stuff like she doesn't like south africans and she doesn't like south africa and right now it seems like a lot of people from south africa obviously are, are turning their backs and they're like you know what um it seems like bella doesn't appreciate us and we just gotta find somebody else to vote for um the reason she said that i don't know why she said that but if she really did say that um definitely it's not it's not something that you can say in a public platform like that one because i mean south africa is one of the countries that love big brother niger so so much like so much so much like we love we we love everything that has to do with big brother niger and we've been you know a viewers for big brother niger for so many years so obviously i understand where a lot of people are coming from a lot of people that are actually disappointed in what she, in what she said i actually understand where they're coming from i i understand how they feel and everything but at the same time if she didn't say it why would someone even start that kind of rumor you know why would they start that kind of rumor to be honest somehow i do believe that she might have said it you know but i try to like be positive and be like no let's just hope she didn't and apparently also chi chi in the morning said something along the way saying saying something like um who's this one groovy looks like a south african guy and it seems like he doesn't even have a big D. Yeah, actually, apparently, she also said that. So I was like, why all these statements now? Like, why all of this? Why all of this? These people are people that actually have already have a lot of fans here in South Africa, already have a lot of people who are watching uh, Big Brother and are willing to vote for them. You know, and, and then all of a sudden, all these statements are just going around social media. Everything that they had said are being, you know, um, discussed that they said certain things about um, 
the country and everything i don't like it I, I i really don't like it it's not nice it's really not nice and one reason maybe they uh, maybe bella's statement would say that uh, they write they, they they hate south africans maybe it's because they always say that we're xenophobic but the truth is we're not we are definitely not the only thing that we are usually against as south africans is the crimes that usually not just only nigerians but like other people from other countries i won't say foreigners but like other people in other countries all of the crimes that usually they are caught in most especially which is drugs and everything so to just clarify everything we are not xenophobic i mean if we were xenophobic why would we even invest so much time into watching a channel that's I mean, watching a show that's in Nigeria, if we hate Nigerians or if we hate other people, other African people, that is just, it's not true. It's, it's really not true. I feel like as South Africans, we are painted very bad. We are being given a very bad reputation, which is, which is really, really sad, to be honest, which is really, really sad. So I hope, I hope that as time goes by, um, they have an open mind, you know, as to like, to I just try and understand us as South Africans that we're not against people, we're not against them, we're not against any other African countries, we're just against all the crimes that take place. Obviously, even other South African people do commit these crimes. That's why we also hate it. We also hate them with what with the actions, with whatever it is that they're doing. On the other hand, guys, let's just leave this whole South Africa issue. On the other hand. Alison is busy rejecting <laughs> is busy rejecting Hermes because of Adekunle. I just wish Adekunle would just make everything short and fast simply by telling Alison that he's not interested. Because it seems like maybe Alison had already concluded that Adekunle is her man you know it is possible that she had already concluded because um i, I remember at the beginning of the show uh Hermes and alison had a conversation where they were like you know what um i think we have similarities because we're both open-minded you know and stuff like that where Hermes at first was trying to shoot her shot at alison and then all of a sudden this morning alison was like you know what um i i feel like you and i cannot you know uh be together because we were both different um you know she was just basically saying all of these things just to try and push him away just to just let him know that you know what i am not interested because even you you have two girlfriends so you want to add me to the list remember hermes actually did say that he has two girlfriends so i just hope i could let do the right thing and tell Alison that he's definitely not interested in the relationship so Alison can see what to do with her life you know or maybe she will try maybe and accept Hermes <laughs> I don't know so yeah guys thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys on my next video thank you so much for watching bye